Hi everyone! Today is a special day. Um, it happens to be January 28th. January 28th, 2021. And it's a full moon. And it is also our debut of our YouTube channel. Yep, The Handmaidens is doing it. We are doing it. We've been talking about it for about three years. And we decided to, this is it. We're going to make it happen. Um, you would think that we would choose a new moon to start a new project like this. But we've been, this has been in the works for so long that what we're doing is releasing all those blocks that have kept us from doing this in the past. So what we're going to do today is we are going to make, um, I'm going to do a tutorial on making peg people. Full moon peg people. Can you see her? I don't think you can see her very well. There you go. That's a full moon. Um, we have, if I move these up here, no. No, here we go. We got them all the phases of the moon. Um, there is a quarter moon. There is a half moon. There is a waning gibbous, waxing gibbous. Sorry, the one's getting big. There's the full moon where we are now. There is the waning gibbous, which gets smaller. There is the other half moon. I don't know what you call the second half moon. And the other quarter moon. And then the mysterious new moon. Yes. So anyhow, I made some peg dolls. I just fell in love with these things um, for my granddaughters. Uh, Raphael's birthday and I decided I want to make some more and I thought that would be the perfect project to start our YouTube video this is Mondo my son Hi. I'm mom there's going to be a whole bunch of us doing YouTubes here all of my six kids 15 grandchildren you're gonna see them all we're gonna have a lot of fun you might even learn something we might learn something from you you never know how this is gonna work so um, we're going to do all sorts of things from crafting, homesteading, telling stories, what have you. Uh, one thing I should tell you is I got a fascination for dolls. Uh, recently I made, uh, I guess I made a couple rag dolls because I have a fascination for Raggedy Ann. Um, I have a Raggedy Ann doll here that is mine that is not old. My old, my original Raggedy Ann that I got from my Nana is no longer with us. Um, she's in the land of where rag dolls go. And this rag Ann was, I believe, a gift to me from my mother, knowing how how much I love rag Ann. Um, last Christmas we spent together. Another thing I have, I just so happen to have, is my mother's doll. This is, yep, yeah, my mom was born in 1925. This is Patsy Ann made by F&B Dolls. And I found this and I brought it out and I scared the crap out of my <laughs> son Mercury. Um, she's got, like if you can see her, she's got like scary eyes. Um, yeah, so my mom had her redone a couple of times and, and restrung. I actually was on uh, eBay last night and found a... Uh, yeah, I found they were auctioned off pattern to make her clothes, but then somehow I managed to get myself kicked off. I don't know what I did. Something with passwords, and uh, but I'll give it a whirl. I'll try, as long as they're not too expensive, and make her some clothes. Yep, that's a project that we're going to do. Right now, we're going to go into the land of peg dolls. And peg dolls are coming. You buy the pegs. You don't got to make them. You don't have to whittle a tree or nothing. But if you do, that's really cool. Mm -hmm. I might buy them. And when I made these guys, girls, you know, the moon is a woman. Mm-hmm. When I made these, I was really mad because I had the boy shape. Okay. And this is something... You know, yeah, I am shaped like that. That's true, but that's not what we're talking about. This is the in peg doll, P 
people, this would not be a female necessarily, but I made her into a female. That's why I gave them a cape, little hairdos. I'll put a little glitter on. Uh, but because I didn't have big enough dolls that I wanted in the girl shape. And then I got looking and I'm like, oh my God, I found one. This is the girl shape. Yes, I know this is gender, whatever, brainwashing, what have you. But that is the female. Um, yes, I guess it could be a male if you want. That's mm. a, I'm not, I'm not judging. I'm not saying anything, but in Peg Dow Land, we are told that's the female because she has the shape like she's wearing a little dress, I guess, or she's got, you know, broader hips, birthing hips, something like that. Anyhow, so we're going to make one today to show you how easy and how wonderful. Here's what we got. Um... <clears throat> I should put my glasses on. And you know what else I should do? I should put on my apron. Because I am a messy painter. And I'm going to put this on. Um, it was just like, chose this one because it's black. And I'm painting black. I won't get all freaked out. It's my Halloween apron. Okay, so. Here we go. Drinking my tea. Grab something to drink. Yeah, I don't care. I'm not judging. Grab hot cocoa if you want. Go ahead. Coffee. Espresso. Vino. Whatever you want. Anyhow. Mm -hmm. We're going to start. I got Simple Craft Paint. Uh, this is Craft Smart Black. And I've got a thing of Simply Acrylic White. And then I have... That's all you need. And then I've got some Decor Art Twinkles. I brought along, that's what I used on these guys, ladies, mm. women, these moon women, moon goddesses. I brought along some um, glitter gold. So I'm like, wait, do I, do I, now that I found this babe, do I want to make her not black? I started making this black and first thing I thought it it looked like a nun then it looked like a ninja and then I'm like uh so then I made her like Kate wearing a cape and I gave her some hair and I'm like yeah you can't see it but there she's got a little white hairdo um but maybe I should try a dip should I try a different one or should I do black again uh what would be the different one? Either a gray with like silver sparkles or gold because she's like a goddess so the sun might be better gold. Yeah. The sun or no or just stick with what I got. Stick, stick with. Just stick what? with that. Okay, Mono decided it. You need um some water. You might need water, whatever. Here's something I also do really bad like get paint all over myself. I leave my paintbrushes in my water too long and then they get all, you know, they they don't last as long as they should. Uh, and by not lasting as long as they should, I end up buying more paintbrushes. So, <laughs> crafting is, uh, is my addiction and it costs me a fortune because I don't always take care of myself. Learn! Don't do as I do, do as I say. Don't leave your brushes or your anything in the water. So, here we go. We're gonna, why do I have a, uh, let's take this guy. I can't see anymore what it is. It is, uh, it's a little, little angle brush, right? Not big. Not I don't know. Bad. I don't know the name of my brushes. That's for the pros. They're good. There's a lot of people out there in video land. I'll tell you all about it. I just do the stuff, okay? Because that's the whole point of our, vi of our YouTube is to show everybody we, we may not be fancy people. We may not be rich. We may not live in mansions or drive fancy cars. But we do like to think that we got the market cornered and having fun and being happy. So, it's been a rough 2020. A lot of, a lot of sorrow. A lot of troubles. But we found a way. Hey, we do what we do to get through. Right? Yep. Right? You gotta be. You gotta find the light. And this is my light. This is my coping mechanism. So let's get 
Oh, I'm not even going to say it. I said I would never say let's get started a YouTube video. What should we say? Let's jump in. Ate it. Let's uh, do it. Okay? Yeah. Here we go. Black. Da, 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 da. It's simple. Don't be afraid. If you're afraid, don't be afraid. If you're really afraid, just call me and <laughs> I'll make you a set. And then maybe, maybe I could even sell you a set and be able to afford brushes. Here we go. So. You just put a little bit of paint on there. Don't make it too wet. You know, paint, paint, paint. Goes on really easy. Um, some people like to use watercolors on the wood because it makes it more like a stained. I like to work with acrylics. Do whatever you want. And just kind of, you might do the bottoms too. You know, you could use any color. Any color in the world. It's the moon goddess. Have we met her? No, but we sure know what she feels like, don't you? When, and we're going to find out tonight what the moon goddess feels like. Um, uh, for those of you that don't believe in the effects of the moon, just go talk to any healthcare worker and see what they tell you. They'll be saying like, yeah, full moon, ah, you know. So anyhow, so paint, paint, paint. This is easy, guys. When I was doing this one, Painting in the black, it reminded me of the Fisher Price. Remember the dog, or the black dog, where they had the two little black ears and the little white face? Yeah, and that did, I didn't like doing that. But I do, I was a fan of Fisher Price. I bought all my six kids Fisher Price toys. Yeah, and I uh, love them. And they also, I believe, I went to the land where Raggedy, my Raggedy Ann is. They didn't, they were making it for a long time. And then, then stuff happened. So there you go. There's a coat on right there. It dries really quickly, believe it or not. Um, so then we're going to want to do, oh, I wanted to show you something. Hold on a second. There was like, what? oh, eh, never mind. But I did, I did have a, notice something in my craft room. <laughs> Which can't go in my craft room today because it looks like a craft room, like a mess. But I was using an ashtray and yeah. I put my brushes <laughs> like that. It was like, I'm a genius. Perfect. Oh. Yeah. yeah. So I've got a little, little parfait. Oh, what are they for ice cream sundae? That's really yeah. great. Put my brushes in there in the little groups, right? Without, because I don't want to put any more water on it. Then I got to take it all out. I'm wasting all that paint. I'm going to take a smaller brush. We're going to get like the line for the cape's hat, hood, hoodie, her hoodie. hoodie. <laughs> we're going to do her hoodie. Yep. And there we go. And we're just going to go because it, these are um, dolls are like Montessori or Waldorf style dolls, I guess. The idea is simplicity. Use your imagination. That's why they don't have like a lot of face features. Um, and I did use my imagination. That's how they end up getting some, and you know, if you can see it, but they got glitter on them. You have to be in person here to really see them because I'm like, oh, black. Why would they just be black? I know the sky at night is black for the full moon, but what about the stars? Okay, so I would assume the moon is wearing, the moon goddess is wearing a cape of darkness and stars. Well, then you don't see her. Around what? her? No, you don't see her on the moon. We don't see her. She's got the moon in no, her what? belly. She went. Right. It's a right, you don't see her. She's wearing a cape. It's a camouflage yeah. watching us. She got the moon on her belly and she's wearing all those stars. Right? No? Just blackness? I don't know. No, so it's hard. I'm not I'm, Okay. We're making up a legend here. Yeah. Right? We're making this up. So if anybody has any good moon goddess legends. What was that show we what was that show we watched about the moon goddess? It was a I still don't remember. I don't remember. That was nice. It was about the cookies or something, right? Moon pies? They were making... Yeah. Yeah. Something. So, just do her back of her head. You don't have to do this. I've seen really adorable ones with felt hats on. I'm going to do that. But not today. So, 
So, so there she is like that. Now you see, I have um like more smaller faces because I, I as I painted, I thought the smaller I went, the more female she looked. But because she's got the female body going on, I don't have to do that. I'm gonna leave her hood back a bit so we can see a little more of her hair. Okay. The one good thing about working with black and white is that if you make a boo, boo, you can just fix it easy. Take a little more paint out, go over, redo it, go over again, put white, cover it with black, black, cover it with white. You can't go wrong. I have way too much paint out here, that could be a problem. But, anyhow, look, we're almost done. A little bit of white, because she needs some hair. Let's take this little guy and give her. I also have a thing for bangs. I don't really have every time I put bangs in, somebody yells at me, but I love bangs. Mm. So we're gonna give our moon goddess some bangs, some white bangs, because she must have that platinum white hair. She is of the moon. She's a celestial being. We just do like whatever. Don't worry about it. Give her a little like that 1920s, what was that pin curl hairdo or whatever. A little bit of com coming over a delicate little face. Here we go. You can't, I don't know, can you see? I'm going to have to get it. This is going to require a bit better camera. But uh, right now is what we got. We're working with what we got. Um, hold on. There we go. Her hairdo is done done like that boom what do you think i think she needs some eyes okay i'm gonna give her some eyes dotting tool yep dotting tool this is simple the further apart it gives it like a younger more innocent look you want it very simple you could give her a little scoopy sleeping eyes which I was going to do on the new moon because I thought the new moon's a, the dark side of the moon. She's asleep. But, you know, maybe. Should we give it? I'm just going to show you how to do this. Put plenty of paint on your dotting tool. If you have dotting tools, if you do dot rock, but you know, mandala rocks or whatever. <laughs> if you don't have a dotting tool, use the end of a paintbrush. If you don't have a paint, I hope you have a paintbrush. Otherwise, I ain't getting paint on um, you could use a toothpick, a pencil point, any little round doodad. So you can just do this. Boom. Tiny eye. Boom. Make the other one a little bit bigger. She's a little asymmetrical. She looks like she has a little bit of trauma. Well, boom. I mean, oh my God, how long has the moon been around? Oh, now I'm messing. Yeah. How about I put, right? She's had to have some bad days mm. up there. There we go. Like the eclipses. How, what happens then, right? That's when she like goes like, I'm not, I need a break. Okay, so my one eye, that, that shouldn't be that hard, what I'm doing now. That's not bad. I'm you just go boom, boom, and it's perfect. Okay, I did something scoochy, so now I gotta make a match. Uh, so I gave her different eyes. She looks, she looks intense. This is like mother, uh, sister, so and so. She looks like a nun with some intense. Or she looks like she's from the 1600s, like a pilgrim or something. One of those people singing, you know, the Rock of Ages. That's it. Anyhow. There, boom, we got a face, we got a hair, we got our clothes. We need her moon. Now I gave these guys a cape because I thought when they were straight, they looked like dudes. And I made her a cape so that she would feel, look more, a little more, um, give her that illusion of having a dress. She's already built like that, but so we don't have to do that. We can. Just skip to the moon. Now, skip to the moon, my darling. Here we go. I've got a big dotting tool. Yes, I never clean my dots off. The last dots I have.
they do come off quite easy sometime in water not right now yep. anyhow I could have cleaned them off but I didn't here we go boom we you put a get lots of nice white paint on there you know that cover it we're gonna go right on her belly and we're going to squish straight down. Let me put her down where we can do this right and go down. And rock it a little because she's, she's not flat. And pull up. There we go. We got the moon on her belly. Okay. Do you know that most, many people, there is, I believe, you can tell me I'm wrong. More women go into labor during the full moon because of all that amniotic fluid in there. All that fluid. And that's the same thing why people get lunacy. It's the cerebral spinal fluid in their brain. The moon affects the tides. That pulls when the full moon, the tides go somewhere. And that's what they say people that follow these things is maybe one of the reasons why more babies are born during full moons if we we're talking to mercury he'd say this is all poppycock that uh, we're just making that up it's a coincidence there is no statistical relevance mm -hmm. but we don't listen to him okay so there we go we got the moon girl she's very neat and tidy she's not all <clears throat> wearing a cape she's a little different than these guys but I cannot stop without giving her some bling. So, instead of using, I use like a blue, I use this one on these guys. This is this Twinkles. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try this. Let's see if this is, might give it a little more. Yeah. Just silver. Silver. Yeah. yeah, just silver. Let's try that for her sprinkles. There you go. Whoa. Whoa. Hope it's not too much. Okay. Um, yeah, maybe I'm gonna use a smaller brush because I gotta get around that moon. I should be letting you should let everything dry. Do a couple coats. Take your time. Take a month making this if you want. Moon to moon. Do you know that? It's 28 days from full moon to full moon. From new moon to full moon is 14 days. Okay. So you make an intention on a new moon and then it comes on a full moon two weeks later that's what they say i don't make this stuff up i just tell you about it it's the wolf moon i heard read somewhere on facebook that people are going to be out howling at the moon at seven o'clock wherever you live that sounds interesting i'm not very good at howling but because um Christmas Eve this year at six o'clock, we all went and jingled our bells and calling Santa. So I'm all about it. I'm like, like the whole idea of the whole, everybody getting together and doing it all at the same time and see what sort of energy we can produce. So yeah, I like just this. These look like stars, right? Yeah. They do look like stars. That looks a little bit more magical, but yeah, I would imagine. It's hard to see the stars sometimes that what is that? Son of a beeswax. Um, <sighs> now she's got a collar. Damn it. Uh, Darn it. Okay. Um, okay, we can do that. We can work black. with that. We can work with a collar. We'll put her, give her a collar. Oh. Anything. There we go. What? Yeah, she's got a collar now. Isn't that cute? Now she is a nun. Now she is a nun. Or a pilgrim, right? Yeah. Yeah. There we go. So, pay attention. You could put your thing, your, you know, I didn't have to do that. I could have just covered it up with black. But like you I always said. like what? Fate. Right. Like I said, right? Yeah. So, we're going to clean this off a little because we got a little white on there. We don't want to put that white all over her nice black dress. This moon goddess, we're gonna go around and around and around. Hey, you know, this is new. We really like to do this, right? Because we're gonna come back. Mana's gonna be doing some cooking. We do all sorts of things. This is a 
gonna be fun we're gonna have so much fun so if you watch this and you can like and subscribe that would be great I guess we yeah we love to say that yeah okay because I guess we can't go live until we have a thousand subscribers and so far we got zip but we're we have faith we have faith in the power of the full moon there we go and the goodness of people because this is a dream of ours and we're gonna make it happen this is a dream and just gently around there you can put a little aura if you want you can you take some paint, like yellow paint or something, or white paint, and you mix a lot of water, and that's how you can make like a glow. You can give like a glow around things. If you're painting candles or painting moons or painting stuff like that, make like a wash. They also sell some products that you can put in your paint to make it like that. Stabilize it. But, there we go. She's beauty. She is a beauty. I'm loving her. I'm loving this. I can't wait to see all those kids as they start with their... By the time we get done with all these, you're going to know everything about us. I'm telling you, there's not going to be a secret left behind. But, yep, no rock on turn. And the, my kids are probably saying, yeah, heck, there isn't. We're keeping our secrets. And, Mom, don't you dare. There you are. She is all glowy when it dries. She, the, the sparkles will be more pronounced. It's just sparkles on the black. She's beautiful. Beautiful, adorable. Full moon peg doll. Happy full moon. We may make another video tonight. You never know. It could happen because this is our day. Thank you, everybody. Take care and have a good one. Hang in there. It's all getting going to get better. I promise. Okay? I will see you next time.